Hello there, welcome to today's Toy Run. Today we're going to have this. The Star Wars Tracker Report. It's always great to see a rare and desirable piece come to the open market to provide a valuable reference price. This week I am glad to see another Anakin Plower of the Force card at figure sell. It fetched a final price of $8,829 US dollars and was graded AFA 75Y with a yellow bubble. It's not always clear what price such rare and desirable pieces might finish at and there are some key variables to go into the mix. First off, due to the expected cost involved, there is a self-selecting group of collectors that will ever consider bidding on such an item. Next, you have to have those collectors ready to be involved in the sale this time around. And finally, you need said group of collectors to actually be aware of the sale. At 38 bids from 18 unique bidders this time around, there was great participation to create a nice solid reference price point. Speaking of awareness, just in time for Christmas, we have two auctions that should be on your radar. Hicks.com currently has an auction open with a great mix of items up for grabs, while Vectis has one set for Thursday, the 3rd of December. Both have lots of items that should appeal to everyone. So I'm going to start off with the top five accessories now. At number five, we have Ewok Battle Wagon, a loose Kenner version sold in the United States for $455. Number four, Imperial Shuttle, one for shabby there. On Kenner, Return of the Jedi A, Empire Arrival Scene, sold in Germany for €399. Euros. Number three, we have a Kenner Empire Strikes Back A, Millennium Falcon, but it's the micro collection Millennium Falcon on Empire Strikes Back packaging sold in the United States $555. Number two we have a Digba action play set Empire Strikes Back A Digba scene on a Kenner box sold in Germany €565. Euros. But in the bone we have a X-Wing Fighter palette toy. X-Wing Fighter lovely. On a Star Wars A sand with a space background very very rare sold in the United Kingdom for £670. Next, we have top five loose figures. And number five, Boba Fett, UK G85. Kenner, sold in the United Kingdom for £543.22p. Number four, a blue snaggletooth with dent, AFA85, sold in the United States for $737. Number three, Yak Face, UK G90, sold in the United Kingdom for £561. Oh, it does pay to get them graded. Uh, number two, we have a Jawa cloth cape, UKG80, a Lily Lady version. I don't know if that's got the removable hood, but that was sold in the United Kingdom for £821. And uh, number one, we have another Yak Face, AFA85 Plus this time, sold in the United States for $1,100. And our last top five is the mock figures. Number five, we have Ato D2, or the Droids card, Kenner, Droids 12A. Sold in the United States for $1,150. Number four, we have a Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot on a Kenner Power of the Force 92A card. Sold in the United States for $1,400. Number three, Luke Skywalker Imperial Stormtrooper outfit, AFA 80Y. Kenner Power of the Force 92A. Sold in the United States for $1,507. Number two, we have seized from... On the Kenner Droids 12 Air card, sold in the United States for $1,863 dollar dues and 93 cents. But at number one, we have the aforementioned Anakin Skywalker AFA 75Y Kenner Power of the Force 92A. One of the rarest cards you'll ever find if you're lucky. And as we said, it sold for $8,829. So there you go, if you found that interesting. I will try and do the tracker report every Monday ongoing. Let me know if it interests you. Because I want to provide content that you want to watch or listen to or whatever. I am here for you, my patrons. So until tomorrow, may toys be with you.